everyone, I'm back again with another video and this time it's going to be a pre-Fanime vlog since I haven't made one yet and Fanime is three weeks away so I thought I would do a pre-Fanime con vlog because I haven't done any pre-con vlogs lately. Anyway, so um, it's in three weeks from yesterday because day zero um, and I go to day zero every year as you all know. I've mentioned that before in my previous fanime related videos and stuff. So for me, it's three weeks minus one day. So yeah, um, it's Friday night now, technically like Saturday-ish. Um, but yeah, so it's three weeks away and I've got most of my stuff done. I just needed, I just need to do a few um, touch-ups and alterations and finish a couple things. But other than that, I'm pretty much done. And I'm bringing six costumes to this fanime. I was going to bring just five, but there's a reason why I had to add a sixth one in. My cosplays for this year are Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, it's a updated version. I cosplayed her way back in like 2011, 2012, I think 2011. Um, yeah, it was 2011, and it was really bad, so I'm doing that cosplay again. I'm doing a upgraded version, so it's like 2.0, so it's much better this time. Um, the last one, I didn't put much effort into it, but this time I put, like, a whole bunch of effort, and this time I have more of the props and stuff, so... Yeah, I'm excited to redo it, to redo her, and this time have a more better looking version than one I did the first time. So yeah. Um, next is Tifa, as you know, from Final Fantasy Advent Children. I did a video of showing that outfit. And then at, next is um, Gyro from Sergeant Frog, human version. And then Grell from Kuroshitsuji, the second musical. It's the red and black dress. Um, then it's Honey from Oron and Mink from Dramatical Murder. The costume I added kind of last minute was my Grell. Um, and that's because they got a guest that they got back in 2011 and I think you probably know who I'm talking about because I've talked about him before in my videos. It's been a long time though that since I've talked about him but they brought Yuya back and not only that but he's in a band called X4 and they brought them as well so he's coming with his band and I'm extremely excited to see him again. I never thought he would come back and I kind of lost hope because it's been a few years since he's been to Fanime. Like, I understand he's probably been busy and stuff. But I was like, you know, hoping he would return eventually. And now he's finally coming back. And I'm so happy that I get to see him again. I just can't believe. So I had to add that costume to my lineup because there's no way I can't. I have to wear it for you, yeah. So, because I remember when I did lingerie girl or Arshite girl, it wasn't 100% accurate, but he still liked it because he gave me a smile when he saw me in the autographs. And I was just like dying because, like, he just gave me this smile and I was just in heaven. So, I'm really excited to see his reaction when he sees me in the red and black dress. I'm like excited, so excited. And yeah, his birthday's like right before the con too, like last year. I hope they have a thing where like you can sign a birthday card for him like they did the last time he came to Fanime, which would be cool. So yeah, we gotta celebrate Yuya's birthday. Cause yeah. Anyway, so those are my cosplays for Fanime. Um, most of them are pretty much done. Kiki is now done. I finished her, like, last night. I painted the shoes, as you can see. They're right here, because I painted them last night, and they were sitting there drying. The funny thing is, the original color of these were red, 
And these are the shoes I originally got for her. But then I painted them yellow for other cosplays, and then I painted them black for other cosplays, and now they've gone back to red for Kiki. Which is funny, like, they started out being my shoes for her, and then they ended up like that again, so I think that's kind of cool. And so yeah, I fixed up her bow as well. I was trying to figure out how to get it to stick up. And so I took some wiring from an old pair of bunny ears that, you know, had wires to bend and stuff. I took wiring from those and I put put it on the back of the bow so now it sticks up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. She's pretty much done. My broom's kind of small, but I'm okay with that, I guess. I mean, I have to pack it, so I can't make it too big. Um, I didn't really make it, though. I'm borrowing it from my sister because she's had it. I think she got it at um, Harry Potter World, so I'm going to be borrowing that because it'll work for Kiki. So, yeah. Um, and then, let's see. Grell, I need to alter a bit. I need to, like, fix up the dress a little and probably remake the hair piece, but that's pretty much it. Um, and then Mink is pretty much done. I'm probably going to try to finish Tori, my Tori plush, so that I can carry him with Mink finally, because I started that thing like a while ago, and I want to finally finish him and have him as my prop for Mink, so I want to finally get that done. Um, Giro is done. I made his gun recently. Um, I debuted him at Grape City Con, as you know. I've, I made a video about that. So, you know, I'm going to be wearing him again to Fanime. So he's done. I just had to make the gun, of course, as a prop. And so, yeah, Gyro's done. Although I might need to fix up the belt, which is fine. Um, honey, I need to find all of my pieces for him still. I found everything except the patch. I'm still looking for that. I know it's somewhere but I haven't worn them in a while, so who knows where that could be. But if I don't find it, I can always purchase one. Another one if I can't for some reason find my patch, but I know it's somewhere, and I'm going to keep digging. You know, like, tear this place apart until I find it because I don't want to have to buy another one. I know they're cheap, but I want to find my patch so I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, um... So I have to find my patch for Honey, and then he'll be ready, because, you know, I've had that cosplay for a while, so all I need to do is just find everything. Um, and like I said, I only need to find the patch. And then Tifa is done, as you know, because I, you know, got that as a birthday present and whatnot. And I've already fixed up the apron skirt and everything, and I did photos of her a while ago, so she's good to go. Um... I think that's it. So yeah, that's all I have to do. So I'm pretty much ready. Which is funny, because like for Fanime, it's like I'm never ready. It's weird. Um, I've actually already jump-started on my SAC anime cosplays, since I'm practically done with Fanime stuff. So it's like, you know, I kind of I feel like I have to do something before Fanime, because like, it's weird not having to do much before the con, so I've jump-started my SAC anime cosplays. Which might be good, because I have a lot to work on for Zack Anime. Um, yes, I'm saving Moana for Zack Anime. I was going to do her for Fanime, but I was kind of overwhelmed by all the stuff I had to do for her. So I'm saving her for Zack Anime. So. Yeah. Um, anyways, so that's pretty much it. Um, oh, as some of you probably have heard of, there's um, Ghibli Fest coming up later this year. Actually, it's starting next month. But, you know, or is it this month? No, tickets go on sale this month. I think it's next month. But anyways, um, I'm going to go see Kiki's Delivery Service with my sister in July. Because they're not playing here in my town. But lucky enough, I'm going to be in L.A. the time Kiki's playing. So we're going to go see that. And I'm so happy I get to see Kiki. Um, I'm sad. I wanted to see Totoro in theaters too. But that's okay. I'll see Kiki. There's also a... um. Totoro Ghibli store opening up in LA and they're having an event the same day 
So we're going to go to that too. So it's basically like Ghibli Day. So it's going to be super fun. So yeah. And that's why Totoro's here. And I'm wearing my Totoro shirt today. So yeah, I'm super excited. I love, love Ghibli films. I might do some Ghibli videos. Like top tens and stuff like that sometime. Because that would be fun. So if you have any ideas for Ghibli videos I could do, just comment. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for now. I will probably make maybe another pre-fandomy vlog. We'll see. So, bye!